there is palpable excitement here today at the RDS in Dublin for the first gathering of a new movement aimed at reforming politics, Reform Alliance. Reform Alliance is the birth child of seven politicians who last year were expelled from their parliamentary party because they voted against the introduction of abortion in Ireland. Leading the group of seven is Lucinda Creighton, a former government minister. I mean, I just knew that I wasn't going to vote for the legislation, so it was actually, I mean, it was um, maybe kind of a stressful time, but, um, but ultimately it wasn't a difficult decision. But under the Irish whip system, any member of a party who votes against a bill proposed by that party is automatically expelled. And obviously the whole issue of abortion, euthanasia, uh, all life and death issues should be treated as matters of conscience and people's opinions and values should really be respected as a consequence. There are seven members of the Senate and um, the lower house um, who've come together to try to this is drive some innovative thinking um, for Ireland. We're coming close to the anniversary of um, um, the, the 1916 rising, um, which led to the foundation of our state. So I think it's good timing to take a step back and think about where our republic is and try to find solutions so that we have a brighter future for our citizens. Well, today obviously is the first step. Uh, it's a national conversation we're having with the people. Uh, we're listening to their ideas, their views on the different uh, areas, uh, particularly the health service today, economic situation within the country and uh, also uh, political reform. Reform Alliance has grown out of a pro-life stand, but the breadth of the debate today has attracted people of all persuasions. I don't really agree with a lot of their decisions they've taken, but, you know, I think they, I would defend to the end the right to take those decisions. I think it's been a fantastic day. I think it's a really positive day for the country. The hope would be that there will be a consensus for a political party. You, I think people are expecting, are looking for an alternative. We've got to think how we can get people ownership. We need to mature our democracy and make members of parliament more accountable for their own actions um, and not allow them to actually hide behind the decision making in their political parties um, and be accountable to the public. And that means that I think we, there is no alternative but to um, uh, loosen or relax the, the whip system. The seven politicians who started Reform Alliance risked ending up in the political wilderness. But judging by the fantastic response that they've got here today, that is not going to be the case. This is Susan Gately for Catholic News Service in Dublin, Ireland.